Welcome. Wait, no, wait till I say, um, we're going to be opening a box of goodies, then you come up. No, get down there. Hi, hi welcome, Pre Box. My, my name is Ellen. Today we're going to be opening up a box of goodies. Hooray. Let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, in reality, we're opening up the box. Ella's here for spring break, so I uh, had to have a little bit of fun. But this is the box from last round that I haven't been able to open up. Today I'm going to be opening up. We're going to be dealing something with the tank. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. Hope you've been having a great weekend as always. It's beautiful out there. We went camping last weekend. It was freezing one night and uh, the rest was great but uh, we froze our butt off one night. But uh, love the weather out there. Hope you guys are enjoying it. But without further ado, let's open up this box. So, handy dandy knife. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. This, if you remember right, has to do with the, uh, the test results we got from Trident. Um, and so these are a few things that I got to help basically uh, kind of solve or figure out what's going on with the system. Uh, we have iodine test kit, which goes in hand with an iodine additive. Uh, we talked about um, them recommending a little bit more iodine, so we did get the Triton iodine, so we'll start dosing that, see how that works out for us. And of course, we do want to test for it, so that's why we have the test kit. Next, we have a silicate test kit, which I'm going to be performing a test kit on the makeup water that I get out of my RODI system, see what comes up there. Um, so we'll be able to tell what's actually going on at that point of this whole system. Uh, so we'll test that out, see where that's at. And then of course we can test our water, you know, down the road and see if it's been alleviated or if we're still running into issues. We have a replacement silica buster DI cartridge from Specsphere, so that will help uh, kick out any silicates that possibly are sneaking through through the system somehow. Um, so we'll install one of these. And last but not least is an item that really doesn't have anything to do necessarily with the Triant results, but it has to do with my system that I've been battling, and that is the flatworms. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose the Velvet Nudibranch that we had, and rather than continually trying to bring them in and have them die, I don't want to keep doing that because they are a live animal, and I don't feel good about ordering and ordering and ordering a fish or an invert that may or most likely may not make it because they're just so uh, finicky. So I didn't want to put them through it. Plus, if we do have issues with silicates and, you know, um, aluminum and whatever else we had, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, you know, if we have those other issues, could be a little bit more detrimental to that. If my tank was free of all of those issues, possibly could be doing just fine and maybe we wouldn't have lost it. But because it did, we're going to go ahead and scrap that idea here for now and maybe revisit it later on, possibly. But uh, for now, we're going to take a look at the Corlin Zook Flatworm Stop. As you know, I did use the Solifert Flatworm Exit, went on a run of that, um, so I did want to try the KZ version. So we're going to attempt this. This has a little bit more different uh, instructions with it, so we'll go over that. And uh, this is what we're working on this week. So the instructions are actually very simple. The dosage, well, you want to shake well before use, it says. And dosage is one milliliter per 25 gallons per day. Permanent use recommended, but for a minimum of three months. Minimum three months is what they recommend. Now, granted, obviously, you don't have to follow that. But minimum is what they recommend of three months of continual usage. So you're going to go through quite a bit of this. Um, so keep that in mind. But it's a little bit different from the Solifert because Solifert doesn't really talk about daily usage. And although you probably could, it doesn't uh, put that in the instructions like KZ does. So this will be interesting because this is a long-term type of dosing and eradication as opposed to, you know, hopefully one dose and bam and boom, you're out. Um, so we're going to get up... Um, we're gonna get our measure. We're gonna get our measuring cup. Figure out what we need. Uh, 25 mil or one milli per 25 gallons. I'm gonna rate this um, as far as directions goes for about 100, 125 gallons because my sump is just about as big as what the tank is. Um, we've got a huge system overall, and there are in the sump, so we need to take care of that too. So I'm gonna go with four to five milliliters of this per day, and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I'll get you guys updated 
and uh, we'll see what happens. They do say it can be dosed directly into the tank without any harm of your inhabitants, inverts, fish, corals, all that jazz, so it is uh, reef safe. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get this dosed and get in the water. There's not really actually uh, any other instructions beyond that, so very simple uh, to get used, so let's get it. Okay, so I've got about four and a half milliliters here. That's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna pour it into a high flow area just to try and get it dispersed into the system as quickly as possible. I may actually just go ahead and dose it into the return pump so that way my sea swirl can spread it out as much as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you off uh, the tripod here, get you in close to uh, one side of the tank and we'll see what it does. Um, it's got a familiar smell to it. It almost smells kind of vinegary, um, and I'm not sure what else. It's got a uh, brownish coloration to it, yellow-brown. Um, but uh, let's go ahead, I'll bring you in here, and uh, we'll see if we start seeing some uh, flatworms go up. And we'll get, uh, hopefully our filter sock will be able to catch everything and uh, get these suckers out of here. And of course, as always, we'll be prepared with some water changes if we do need to do this. But because we're doing it on a daily basis, um, I'm going to be hesitant of a water change unless I see that it's absolutely necessary because we want it to do its job. And if we're do dosing it daily, doing a water change isn't really going to do too much good because you're going to be putting it right back in the next day. So, let's go. Bottoms up, guys. Cheers. Okay, we're going to pour it in. You probably won't be able to see it in the water column, but uh, I'm going to pour it down here. So, let's go ahead and pour it into the return pump and it's officially in the system. Once you pour it in, you can't see it. It just blends right into the water immediately. So far, nothing's really happening. Uh, you can see some peppermints came around to hang out uh, around this area. Don't know if that has anything to do with it, but so far, I can't tell anything's going on with flatworms. Kind of like the, with the flatworm exit, you could immediately see um, the flatworms start and taking off and floating away because they was just, you know, they were dying off. But uh, as of now, I'm not seeing anything happening with them. So uh, we'll check back in here in maybe a few minutes and see if that changes. So it's been about half an hour since I've dosed it. Uh, no real changes to speak of to where we can see the flatworms just kind of going off on their own like the salifert. So uh, I'll keep doing the doses um, throughout the weeks and the months here. And we'll see what happens. So I'll try and take maybe a picture daily or maybe a little video clip uh, every day or every couple days and kind of splice them together. And we'll see what happens over the long term uh, and see when it eradicates it. Um, so I'm excited to see what it does. But uh, until then, that's it. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping by. Go check out the KZ Flatworm Stop. It's in the link in the description below. Uh, we'll talk more about the iodine, the silicates, all that later on because um, I'll be running those tests and we'll see what happens. But I wanted to get to at least the flatworm stop to get that rolling and uh, see what comes of it. So thanks so much, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of the weekend. Stay safe, happy, healthy. Enjoy that weather out there. It's amazing. And until next time, peace.